exciting day up on the test field today. We are taking this uh, Fata Morgana 570 build and flying it with a cinema camera. Big old camera, big old payload. That is the Z-Cam E2 cinema camera, rocking an ultra-wide lens from Laiawa. It's a chunk, it's a big camera for, uh, for a racing drone. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. All right, y'all ready? Okay, flying a cinema camera on an FPV drone for the first time. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, my OSD is all kinds of messed up. All right. So it feels pretty good. Not gonna do anything crazy, just kind of cruise around. takes more throttle to uh, pull out of a turn. Makes sense. <laughs> What's interesting about flying acro like this is you get a you know exactly how much throttle and how hard the drone's working. Unlike a you know GPS controlled drone where uh, you know, it's it's doing all that thinking for you, so you don't necessarily get a, you're not in touch. <laughs> it's like driving a car with a clutch. You can tell a lot more about how it's functioning and how it's working, how the power is being, being spent. So that was the uh, the first flight of the uh, new Cinema Quad here. Of uh, work in progress. Obviously, this this mount's temporary while we get a you know TPU mold going. In terms of payload, I'm it's feeling great. It doesn't seem to mind the weight. It handles differently, but it, it doesn't feel sketchy or overworked. Motors are warm. Didn't take much throttle. So far, so good. Fly a couple more packs on it. First time talking to a cinema camera on an FPV quad. Flight two. and weight to throw, but the balance is pretty good. The packs are on the bottom, the camera's up top. All right, so here we go, let's check this roll. Yeah, right, the bobble maybe. I'm trying to do that nice and slow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for three and a half minutes. Came down with that 3.8 cell, 3.8 per cell. All right. Got the new um, new strategy with the, the batteries here. These are thicker straps, for sure. <laughs> and then I uh, rubberized that back to big old chunk of heat shrink on there. I don't even know if this has microphones. <laughs> it does, I don't know if they're on or whatever. Um, so this is our third and final test flight for the day. The, uh, it's going great, smooth. I just wanna do some sweeping passes and uh, get a, a feel for maybe what I can do with the tune. Um, trying to figure out how this, all this added weight affects the tune. I feel like uh, it would need to be a little looser maybe than I can have it when it's not carrying, you know, two pounds of camera. All right, so test flight number three. When you come level again after a turn, you really have to dig hard in to get the momentum to stop the plane. Really good. Big success, flies well, feels safe and secure and fairly steady. I think I would uh, change up the tune a little bit and you know do some more work on my on my, my settings there, but but it's coming down cool and it's flying for uh, for several minutes and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that footage. It's exciting and it's a definitely an interesting new tool to have, you know, a nice big sensor camera with interchangeable lenses and the options for compression and file size and frame rate and you know nothing nothing against GoPro and action cameras in general uh, just that if if a different tool is needed for different kind of work uh, this, this is going to be it <laughs> also an interesting bridge between something like a uh, you know Inspire or a Griffin or an Alta a stabilized drone and this because this has that exciting look. in San Francisco shooting aerials for a big corporate party uh, with Macklemore probably
the city. 